Well, Israeli police have broken up a protest by demonstrators who are trying to block humanitarian aid from entering Gaza. At least 18 protesters were detained at the Karim Abu Salam crossing on Israel's border with Gaza. They've been demanding the release of captives. Now, previous protests in the same place have resulted in trucks filled with aid supplies being forced to turn back. Well, let's speak to Hamda Salhut. She's across this for us from occupied East Jerusalem. Hamda, as we were saying earlier, there have been a string of protests that we've seen at that crossing, but this time people were actually detained. Just how is this all actually affecting the supplies making it into the Strip? Well, look, these protests have been going on for several weeks now, and at their maximum capacity, you're looking at around 100 demonstrators here, mainly right-wing protesters, some of them from settlements, and also even family members of some of those being held captive inside of Gaza. Now, they're saying that the Israeli government should not be allowing aid to go through the Kerem Abu Salem crossing in the southern part of the country. They're saying that it's, quote, immoral while there are still captives being held in Gaza. Now, Israeli police have declared some of that area a military zone due to these demonstrations because protesters were even bringing tents in hopes of camping out all night. Israeli police say they have removed around 40 protesters from the area, detaining 18 of them. And the goal, again, is for them to block that aid from going into Gaza, essentially wanting to starve the population. The aid going through, we already know, is quite minimal. And on some occasions, those protesters have even succeeded in blocking those aid trucks from getting through into the Gaza Strip. Mm. And stay with me, Hamda, because I want to ask you about a report that's out in the Israeli newspaper Haaretz. And now they're reporting that the government of Benjamin Netanyahu is pushing ahead with a large illegal settlement in the occupied West Bank. Now, Haaretz is saying that 650 homes will be built just a few meters away from Palestinian houses south of occupied East Jerusalem. And far-right Israeli activists are reportedly involved in that development. We know that Israel has continued to build on Palestinian land, even though those settlements are illegal under international law. Hamda, just how are people in Israel reacting to this report in Haaretz? Well, our teams have been speaking to one NGO called Ir Amim, who have been documenting illegal settlement expansion and human rights abuses, specifically in occupied East Jerusalem. And here alone, you're looking at around 17 different settlement plans that have been really constructed since October the 7th, four of which have been approved. So the total for the 17 is around 8,000 housing units. And in occupied Occupied East Jerusalem, it would be 3,700 that are still that were already approved. And this is a process that usually takes a very long time. There is a lot of bureaucracy involved with municipalities of different towns, etc. But in Occupied East Jerusalem, in a town called Umtubas, you're looking at around 650 housing units that are going to be built there. Now, what this NGO is saying that essentially since October the 7th, it's been unprecedented how many settlement approvals there have been. And that's because they believe the government is using the guise of this war to try and fast track a lot of these illegal settlement plans while everyone is essentially focused on the war. So while all of this is ongoing, these settlements are not just in occupied East Jerusalem, but also across the occupied West Bank. And it is worth noting, this is the most right wing government in Israel's history who has been quite the proponents for illegal settlement expansion. And they're even saying they want them in Gaza. This is something we've been hearing repeatedly from these members of the far right. But as far as occupied East Jerusalem, it's an incredibly sensitive issue as mm -hmm. the Israeli government is now expanding these illegal settlements. Hamda Salhut there with all the latest for us from occupied East Jerusalem. Thanks, Hamda.